Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We reached episode 5 of Young Worlds, season 3. Yes. Last episode, once again, was explosive. explosive. Yes. The ending in particular, we found out more about what Eric did, uh, about that nasty initiation, mm -hmm. and it was August who presented the facts to Villa. Yes. Basically shattering Villa's world in a way. But there was so much more in this episode, including, you know, Sarah being back at school, mm -hmm. speaking with Felice finally, Felice still being cold and yeah. distant. Um, but nonetheless, she spoke to her. We also um, saw more tension between Villa and, and Simon. They're both obviously dealing with two different things at the moment. You know, Simon going through the fact that he was asked to delete his account yeah. Dealing with all the pressure that he's now facing, but but Villa also having his mom that is sick and his birthday is coming up. Um, he needs to do this foundation thing. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot again yeah. uh, on Villa's plate. And like a lot of you also said, a great reminder, you know, the boys are 16 and they're having to deal with a lot of stuff, which is true, which is true. We still believe, though, that someone could have uh, deactivated the account. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Very true. Very, true it yeah, is. it is what it is. We are ready to dive into episode five. It's probably going to be explosive because you said it's going to be explosive. So <laughs> let's dive right in. Let's go. Let's go. Tense music already. Give us a minute. Oh, he's in the palace? That looks like the palace. Condoms? Yeah, he's in the palace. That was the last party. Stop it now. How are they un un under investigation? The school might potentially close and they haven't cleaned up the palace. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh, he's reliving it. Ooh, this is not good. Is this a dream? Could this be a dream? Maybe? Or he's just imagining how it would have been Maybe. for him. Man kan säga att W's frånvaro av kommunikation. Vem vet? Inte vi. Det var trots. Did he tell Simon, do you think? I don't think so. I don't think so. Could you imagine? Uh, when was the last time we saw him just in a plain white t-shirt? He's always so nicely put together, no? Villa. Mm. Mm, costume. <laughs> Tired of everything. He's exhausted, bless him. Yeah. One thing after the other. Eh? I'd be like, where's the reset button? I want to reset this. Klassens festprise, klassens legend, klassens sos, klassens import. Ja, men att man är typ så här nyanländ eller så här fattigt i typ. Marvan tyckte det var skitkul, eller hur? Ja, ganska roligt. Mm. Not funny whatsoever. Jag kommer inte kunna komma sen. Va? Vadå, vad ska det? Jag ville fylla år. Nu ska jag ha förhållande på slottet. Men det är familj. Oh, look at him. It's just family. Vid treornas middag nu i helgen. Så har jag delat in er i tre grupper. Rika, Edith, Louise och Madison. Sen har vi grupp... Wait for it. She's gonna put Felice in the kitchen or something. Sofia, Pervin och Stell. Grupp tre sen tar hand om dessert. Det är Mikaela, Felice och Sara. Okay, desserts with Sarah together. Mm. My God, she keeps looking over. Like, hey, hey, I fix a little check to us. Farmos Lazar. What is cool, huh? She's, She's always very best. suspicious of yeah, him, you know, like... New medicine. Seems that surprised she has moved back into the school, but... Mm. 
I guess they're doing it to to have uh, this father-daughter moment, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Is there a little smile coming? Nope. Mm -hmm. Oh, the letter. <gasps> Open it. What is he doing? <gasps> so you remind me whose letter is this? This is his letter. No! Is that Sarah's locker? Could be. Stop it. Hey, Gubben. Hey, Style. Hey, hey. I'm sitting and reading this here. Read it with my mom. Ah, okay. It's okay. It is what it is. Why are you not saying that? Mm. Oh. Nobody's perfect. I mean, come on. Especially if you're talking to your other son, you'll be like, but you're also perfect. If you call angry, I'm on. Every time he wants to have a serious conversation with his parents, something else comes up, no? That's what it feels like. Yeah, but he isn't really questioning why he wants to tell this story to, oh, to his parents. Like, what is, what is he going to achieve with that? Maybe his dad will be like, oh yeah, there were a few things. I don't know. Clearly they want to remember him as being this perfect son. Mm. He has no time for Simon. Did you notice? He didn't pick up the phone. He doesn't. He never did that, no? <sighs> this is hard. They're not even next to each other? Girl, what is going on? Don't punish Simon for your brother's behavior. That's crazy. Do you think he's going to sell him now? Maybe, yeah. Mm. Just tell him something, you know, I'm going through stuff at the moment, like I'm not focused. He's gonna tell him. Erik var med. He is gonna tell him. Han var en av treorna som var där som höll i det. Ja, och det är det här exakt varför jag inte har sagt någonting. Jag behöver verkligen inte att du dömer honom också. Jag har inte sagt något. Men jag ser vad du tänker. Vad tänker jag? Jag tycker att han är homofob att han inte stod upp för de svaga. Behöver inte alls vara så. And that's what you're thinking. Yeah, exactly. Don't He's projecting. project that onto He's projecting. Simon. Om alla andra gjorde det och tyckte att det var ett normalt beteende. Peer pressure, definitely. It's interesting how Simon is a lot more... He approaches it a lot more logical. Mm. And and Villa is spiraling, like he's really assuming him as a very emotional. It's very, yeah. So can fuck up. What do you mean? What? So you can't compare Erik and Sara. You don't have the right to do that. I want to slap Villa. Yes, you did. No, you did. But she has tried to do something. Shit, Sara. I can't. Can we just? I can't, Simon. But can we just talk? How did this escalate? This like, is this, crazy. This, this doesn't make sense. No. What? He's just like, don't compare him to Sarah. But that's he not didn't. what he did. Ah. Uh, Villa needs to... <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, so I'm was... telling you it was her locker. Yes. Oh, 
Yeah, she caught him. No dead. Oh. Uppkörningen är om 30 minuter och bussen går inte för 30 minuter så du måste verkligen komma. Oh no. Ja, uh, oh, ring mig. Dude. Hej, det är Sara igen. Är du på väg? Girl, uh, why is he doing ring this? Mig. She's gonna miss it. I mean, just get the bus. Like, I mean, can she still make it though? Didn't she say she needs to know in the next 20 minutes? Jag tror verkligen inte Simon menar något illa. Han var nog bara chockad. Can you actually believe it? After this behavior, he should not get a manicure. <laughs> He's burning up inside, Villa, because he wants to know. Ah, oh, bless him. Ja, färg, Vad Yes. Didn't they mention also at some point previously that Eric had something with it like an OnlyFans model or something? Yes. Yeah. Hey, who is that? Sara Eriksson. Yeah, precisely. I'm sorry, I'm late. Yeah, it was time for you. Did you lay me there? Yeah. Okay, you can do it, girl. You can do it yourself. Yes. Stay calm. So you can follow the shield against Gersta Södra. She's gonna run into his dad. Her dad. Or is she nervous? The dad's behind her. Oh. Stop it. No. No. This is crazy. Focus, focus, focus. Get it done. Ah. <sighs> But I hope she's gonna make it, you know, because... Oh, my heart breaks for her, I swear. She's already disappointed and now she doesn't need to be disappointed about not passing the test, you know? It's a little too big, babes. Okay. So we broke up it. Jag försöker alltid finnas där för honom. Det gör ingenting för dig. I want to agree with her. He is not doing anything wrong. Jag tror att han är en tremendo, tremendo chico. Right now, no. No. Pero el amor... Det ska inte vara så svårt. Speciellt när man är så ung. Very true. Look at the baggage now. Can you imagine the baggage in 20 years? Girl. Oh, is that Sarah? Oh, is someone trying to do something again? Oh, Not Sarah. Oh, she didn't pass. Yeah, I took that. She, she passed. Oh, she did? Check. I mean, Papa. I was going to show you this when I loved it. Jag vet inte vad jag trodde, men det är bara så ont. Låt. Jag är så ledsen. Finally. Finally, they're like back to normal. Oh. They're family again. Okay, he's being honest and he's speaking with Simon. Oh, look at the purple fingers. Nails. Wait for it. The mother's gonna say something about it tomorrow. Yeah, he's like, I, mean, I need to remove this before it. I go to the to yeah. the palace, you know. Were you about to say before I go to bed? No. <laughs> <laughs> Small here, big over there. I'll be like, don't worry, I'm eating with my fingers. Oh, cute. Cumpleaños feliz. 
Oh, he's singing in Spanish. This is his first birthday party without his brother as well. Mm -hmm. The power couple. Ooh, Farima, we don't like you, but the color is cute you're wearing. Oh my god. Just it, say hi. It looks more like they're going to a funeral at this point. Yeah. Apart from her, she wears green. Mm. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. This is gonna be explosive. Could be also an opportunity for them to bond in a way, you know? Then again. Well, it doesn't change the fact well, that he did what he did, of that course. He did what he did, yeah. you know. Mm. Like, don't touch me. Get away. <laughs> but you can feel like for him it's like a chore, you know? And the August is actually trying living living it. He's oh, enjoying yeah, yeah. Oh, this yeah, whole yes, 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 yes. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you meant, yes, for sure. What did you just say? Go back. But he's eating it. <laughs> this is crazy. Simon is like, are you joking? Okay. <gasps> Do. Jag vet ju att det är lite spänt mellan dig och kronprinsen. Så jag tänker att du behöver inte komma till slottet. Man tar bara studenten en gång i livet, eller hur? No. He's already made a major announcement to everybody. I'm not eating here. I'm eating at the palace. Aj, 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 aj. He is pissed off. Well, well, but it might be a chance. Oh, I was like, no, Sarah is not going to be there. No, she is serving the dessert. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. So I was like, Yours... it might be a chance for exactly. him to speak to Sarah, you know? Exactly. Wow, that was quick. Not happy. Ooh, he also just doesn't want to turn up here last minute because that would be like a bad look for him, no? So he doesn't get to enjoy none either of those things, you know? Which is a bit sad. To I'm gonna get the Team August t shirt out in a minute. What is he doing? <laughs> this reminds me of the devil wears Prada. When um when when Andre has a second date and the other assistant grabs the back and says, hide this, or just fling it anywhere. <laughs> the mom! That is cute. Hip 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 Has she read the letter? Probably not. Mm. I hope she's not gonna spill it on him. He wants her to spill it on him. Ah, Ooh. nice. Raw legs watch. So fin. Ja, no, um, den gamla, den har varit Eriks. <sighs> okay. Is that the right time to speak for him? Oh, you, you, you. I, can I leave? I don't want to be here. This is too much. Song på morgonen. Tårta och paket. Sen brukar jag träffa kompisar. Bovla och typ spela laserum. Oh, filler, calm he looks down. so angry. Yes. 
This is crazy to me. The way they've written him for this episode? Oh no. Um. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna be super drunk and Sarah's gonna come to rescue him. Penalty round. Penalty round, Burr. why? This is cute though, them making the desserts. This is a fun activity. Two minutes, let's go. Yes. Ah, oh, the old girls are back. Everything's forgotten, just for now at least. For a moment. For a moment. Cute. Ooh, what's that pink lemonade? Will you have a me with it? Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm sure you bought a piano or piano. Cello. The mom's completely disconnected and avoiding. Well, the dad at least is trying to make conversation yeah. with Simon. Like, she's not even, not even looking at him. Mama, will you listen to music or dance or what's going on? Or Papa, spell it out. Also, Spela han lite piano också, tror jag. Nu gjorde Erik också, han var väldigt uppe i piano. Oh my god. Oh. Why is she bringing up Erik? Han var så talangfull. Var han än tog oh sig. Oh my god. Ja, om sig kan. What is going on with her? Han var så nog nice. Don't just leave Simon there, right? So uncomfortable. Dilf Hunter. I like it. Klassens sportfåne, klassens overskider, klassens framtid till och med. He thinks it's him. Flest röster fick han faktiskt för klassens bad boy, August. Oh, it is him. Class bad like, boy. Yes, of course. What is going through his mind right now? Sarah? The palace. Maybe Sarah, maybe that he doesn't want to be the bad boy anymore. Maybe he wants to be at the palace. From where I'm sitting, lucky him he's not at the palace, because that tense dinner with the parents, the lunch? No. Actually, I think he might have been able to um, lift the mood a little bit. You know, he would have talked to the queen and been like, Could you diffuse the situation a little bit. Maybe. He doesn't want to. What a coincidence. This is your chance. I've, has she read the letter? Hey. Har du hunnit läsa brevet? Nej, men jag... But here it is. I'll take it back. I think it's back. Jag kan, jag kan, jag, jag läser. Jag kan läsa. Jo. Skitfort. stark och självständig individ som ingen vågar jävlas med. De ska få se. Just nu är du alla springpojke men du har slutat gråta, du har lärt dig bita ihop och du har skaffat några kompisar. Jag hoppas att du aldrig kommer behöva vara ensam med. Då var jag försökte eller trodde att jag att jag ville vara jag vet inte ens om jag vill det längre. Vill... Jag önskar att jag hade gjort det om jag det. But that's gonna be difficult, no? To explain to Simon, Feliz. Oh. Oh. She's gonna take a picture. No, she's gonna go in and tell everyone. She's gonna oh tell Feliz. God. This is crazy. And they were just becoming friends again. He needs to let this initiation go. He needs to just forget about it. No, but also as Simon said, he needs to let go of this yes. image of Eric being the perfect brother. Yes, just stop. 
Nobody's perfect. No. Alltså snälla lämna mig inte med dina föräldrar så där. Alltså det kanske är bäst att jag bara åker hem. Va? Vad sa menar du så? Det är typ dålig stämning. Vad du inte borde vara här? Jag behöver dig här. Oh my god. Men absolut, om du tycker att det är så jävla jobbigt så åk du. Gör det. He doesn't really understand. He doesn't allow any conversation. Oh, it's just... It's just he snapped right away. Ah, oh, bless you, man. That's why you're wearing the t-shirt today. This is crazy. Wait for it, he's gonna... This is the small cake? He's gonna throw the cake. Then do Also for the ask thing. Så, jag, jag tror faktiskt att jag ska tacka för mig. Jag, eh... Förlåt, men kan vi sluta spela teater nu? Sluta låtsas att allt är normalt. Mm. Snälla. Det är ingenting som är normalt efter Eriks död. Nej, det är klart. Tror att jag tycker det, eller? Behövt er? Jag fick liksom inte ens sörja i fred. Så hon bara nu. Då låter mamma bete sig hur hon vill och skiter i mig. Jag är din enda son, pappa. Mm. Kan du se mig? Vi hem. Det är faktiskt inte så lätt att vara både din mamma och din chef. Nej, jag märker det, för du är lika jävla kast på båda två. Mm. Oh. Yes, he wants to go home, but he shouldn't be here. Oh, the father really is a bit useless. <laughs> Sorry, but... <laughs> oh, this is not a good look. And he's just leaving Simon there again, like... Simon, I would, if I would be Simon, I'd be like, let me go and open the gifts. <laughs> and eat the cake. No, like, I would be like, what the fuck am I doing here? What did his mom say at the beginning of the episode? Love shouldn't be this hard. It's hard, yeah. He's still here. It's funny, like, he's like, why do you want to leave? I need you here. But then he just... Runs away. Runs away. I try to really be stressed with you. I feel like I'm with my mom. I don't recognize you. I can see that. <gasps> no, not him quoting the mom. <laughs> this is the end. <laughs> no, perfect end. No. This is crazy. I have goosebumps everywhere. I don't want this. No. <laughs> No, this is crazy. <sighs> also, this is a very nice song. It's a very nice song. Well, here we go again. Yeah. What do you think? Where to begin? Where to begin? I don't know. I, you know what's funny? When we started the episode, right at the beginning, not right at the beginning, but at the beginning, we see the mom, Simon's mom, talking to him. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, the way she was talking, I, I, in my mind, I was like, almost like, oh, she, it feels like she's the oracle or something, you know, like she, the way she's talking and then the quote she was dropping here and there. And here it is, like, love shouldn't be this difficult. Like, she is the oracle. Yeah, but like, it really, <clears throat> she spoke truth. She did. Right? And I think as soon as he heard it, he was like, yeah, you're right. He started to connect the pieces. Because everything presented. And then now, like with everything happening now in this episode, he's just like really like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love shouldn't be this hard. No. Crazy. Especially at that age. Like it's probably the first proper love, you know? Yeah. First relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 years, 17, 16 years. <sighs> well. So graduation, dinner. 
for the third years and the first years are serving which was a cute thing actually in hindsight i thought it was a cute thing also just seeing the girls preparing the desserts that was that was nice it was mm-hmm. cute right you could really see they had a good time they had fun and felice completely forgot about what was going on and it was just both of them having yeah, fun together. Almost, almost back to, yes. to how it used to, to be, friends. you know, for, just for that moment. Yes, but then at that, in that scene, or part of that scene, we see bad boy August reading his letter to Sarah. What did you think of the letter? Um, yeah, I kind of was expecting something like this. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, he wrote the letter when he was in the first year. Mm-hmm. Um, completely different person yeah completely different person I guess what happened to him at the initiation also like really shaped, shaped him. him yes right in into the person he's now mm-hmm. right he wanted to be strong stronger um, be in charge nobody's pushing him around and yeah that's the the persona that he has adopted he That's said, how I he is to, now. He wanted to be the and leader. He is the bad boy. Mm. But actually, deep down, that's not who he is or who he wants to be. It was more just like he became this person because more maybe to protect himself as to well. To protect the, the, the inner So child. nothing like this ever happens to him mm. again. Yeah. It did, but know, also maybe meeting Sarah. Uh, yeah, allowed that other person to emerge again. Exactly. It's, so listening to the letter, oh, listening to him read the letter, it really allows you to understand what a cerebral person he is, that he's a soft person, right? Probably soft-spoken. He was pushed around. He was running errands for others. He was crying alone. He was crying and all of that. <clears throat> so this August emerged to protect this softer boy, mm-hmm. right? But Sarah brought the softness out again. Yeah. And he realizes, and, and actually throughout episode, uh, throughout season four, we see his softer season side. Season, season three, sorry. Season three, we see the softer side come out again. To the point here where him receiving that bad boy badge, he doesn't want it anymore. He wants to be this soft boy again. Yeah. He's a lot stronger now. He's a lot smarter now. But he regrets a couple of things. Like he said, Whatever, you know, he regretted it. And he said to Sarah, like, I'm regretting what I did to you. Yeah. And it was good to see that he's actually, like, aware of his emotions, mm. right? And he's, he's, like, he's like, yeah, this is what I need to do. I want to share this experience and who I used to be with, with Sarah, you mm. know? But it was crazy to me that she actually didn't want to read the letter. I actually like the fact that she, she was like, no, no, like, here, yeah, yeah. I wanted to give it back to you. Yeah. Well, I think the the thing with her, if you, and, and I, you know, it goes back to if, if you, if you mess it up, right, if you break her trust, she's pretty much gone. Yeah. And I think that's what she, she is saying here. She's like, I don't want to read it, right? We had a moment. You broke my trust. I don't want to read it. Yeah. He then, of course, forces it, right? He's like, I'm going to read <clears throat> the letter. Yeah. Speaking of trust, we saw what happened this episode with the dad disappointing her, mm. right? What? He didn't show up to I mean... to bring her to the uh, driving test. Yes. He didn't pick up the phone. It was just like crazy. That And then and he's then, drinking with friends. And then he, she sees him. That like, was crazy. That was crazy. That and was of crazy. course she is disappointed, you know. But it kind of resulted her going back home and then reconciling with Simon. Yes, breaking down and getting her brother back. It was a very nice scene, actually, very emotional. There was a lot of emotional scenes this uh, particular episode. But then, obviously, we didn't see afterward, after this happened. Like, has the father then tried to get in touch with her? Because maybe he then later on realized, oh Oops. shit, actually I was meant to pick her up or like yeah. she didn't, oh, she's not coming home, you know? Yeah. 
but obviously he might try, but she's not gonna pick well, up. Listen, like she's not gonna talk to him. If he's supposed to pick you up and he's not picking you up, his his phone is switched off. He misses this important day for you, and you see him drinking yeah. at a pub or somewhere. I'd be gone, and I wouldn't even be picking up the phone anymore because you didn't pick up the phone either when I called you and I needed you, and you promised yeah. you would be here. I that also might be them just wrapping up that storyline and be like, we're done with it. You know, the dad's gone. Um, let's talk about the birthday or the uncomfortable lunch or whatever that was. I mean, the whole, the whole build up to this event was yeah. just like tension, tension. And it just felt like depressing mm. and like the whole episode also like Wilhelm was not in a good mood, you know, it was not like he was looking forward to it. In a way, they've done a good job. You say it felt depressing, the whole build-up. In a way, it's it, it, they've done a good job because if we felt this way, imagine what Will is going through. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to be in the room. Obviously, the whole Eric thing was like weighing on him. Yes. Right? He was just like thinking about it nonstop. Like, what does it mean? Like, was Eric a bad person? Like, homophobic. Would, he, said, would, oh, he would have been homophobic. okay with me being gay? You know, yeah. like everything going on in his head. Um, we did obviously see he was trying to tell the father over the phone, which was a bit weird, I thought. <clears throat> but then, yeah, we arrive at the birthday party. Mm. And, yeah, the tension was still there. Like, mm -hmm. the dad at least was, you know, making conversation, talking to Simon, yeah. making an effort, you know, yeah. to kind of make him feel welcome, I guess. I guess. Yes. But the mom was just sitting there. Yeah. The and if she was saying something, she kept bringing up Eric. She was comparing. Oh, Eric was playing this instrument. Yeah. And he was like, yeah. oh, he had the same watch. Right? So we had to get you a new one. Yeah. Crazy stuff. It's like, babe, let it go. It's Phil's birthday. Yes. Be like, quiet. She should have not. Maybe she shouldn't have been there. Before that, actually, and, it just, you know, before that, they also had a bit of a moment in the music room. Mm -hmm. which for me was a bit of extreme it was extreme right villa completely spiraling and suddenly being like oh why are you comparing mary to sarah yeah and that was a bit extreme i was like babes he didn't compare them yeah. you're just and this happened twice mm. right there was this situation and then later on during the birthday like at, at the dinner where they have after the food and before the cake yeah where he like run, runs off and mm. then simon finds him and again, and he's like, maybe I shouldn't be here because it just feels like very uncomfortable and there's like tension between you and your parents. Yes. Like he just meant it that way, you know, like it's not like he didn't want to be there, yeah, yeah. but he's like, maybe it's better if I'm not here. But he took it in such a wrong, bad way. Yes. He's like, okay, like if you don't want to be here, like, but, but I need what you. you and yeah. it, was, it escalated right away. It felt very similar to that first. Yeah situation yeah, you know yeah. so it was just like complete miscommunication and misreading misinterpreting yeah assumption mis yeah and assuming he's assuming a lot a bit crazy again you know communication appears to be the struggle so this is the struggle bus of this entire series yeah uh and villa is my god victim number one it's like babe chill yeah, and I think this really led to what then Simon says at the end. Like, yes. I don't recognize you yeah, anymore. Yeah. You're, you're exhausting. You're a different person. I'll be like, babes, I'm taking the gift and I'm out of here. <laughs> you're exhausting. Well, and then that whole confrontation between Wilhelm and, and the, the parents. parents was just crazy. With Simon just sitting there like, oh, you wanted to disappear. What's yes. happening? Can I have some cake? <laughs> I want to disappear into the floor. Oh, that was so uncomfortable. I didn't even want to sit here, but babes, the like, acting is... In a way, in a way, I'm like, this kind of needed to happen, or yes. like, they need to have this conversation, but but not in this way. It was just way too aggressive, and like... But it also shows you, maybe they don't know how to have a family fight. They don't know how to, because everything is always perfect, everything is always orchestrated. But the mom said it. She doesn't know how to be Villa's mom and boss at the same time. Yeah. And well. I think that's the 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 main point, you know? 
I think she was always trying to be a bit more the boss than the mom. Than the mom. Yes. I think she she was struggling with that part, you know. Mm. <sighs> it's just I don't know. I mean, listen. How do you cope with losing a child? I don't know. You don't know. We're obviously seeing this particular version of coping, right? It's her coping. Yeah. And she's not coping well. We can see. She's a mess. Yeah. Clearly, this is affecting the dad. The dad's a mess. Yeah. It's obviously also affecting Villa. Villa had never a good relationship with his mom, it seems. It was always, I don't want to say transactional, but it feels like it always was this. She's the queen. He's the second prince, right? Eric was always the crown prince. Yeah. So Villa was always part of the family, but it was always Eric, Eric, Eric. And I think Villa, for the most part, was, was okay with it. But even the very first episode, we see him having that fight, which in itself just shows you, you know, like there is something going on, right? There is something much deeper that needs to be worked through. But instead of working through it as a family, they're just like, oh, we're going to send you to a boarding school. Right. So you can see right away from the very first episode in season one, they don't they don't actually know how to deal with these issues. Yeah. They're just like, oh, we're going to deal with it this way. And they're going to send him to a boarding school. Yeah, yeah. And here we see the ultimate escalation. The family fights, but in a very nasty way. And Villa said it like instead of grieving together as a family, mm. right, being there for each other, it was really like the parents dealing with it on on their own and then villa leaving him leaving villa right mm -hmm. and he he said it like he needed his parents in that moment but they were not there and he even asked her or said to her at once but he said no she wouldn't play and i was like i need you to be my mom now yeah she doesn't even know how to be his mom i said i guess she's just you know in her mode she's like an autopilot and here she's collapsing because the autopilot has run out poor simon Poor, poor Simon. Um, I don't know. What was the highlight for you in this episode? Um, highlights. Positive highlight or like negative? No, let's talk about something positive, please. <laughs> positive. <laughs> Enough. Enough negative. Um, well, the, the moment between Sarah and Og. Yes, me nice. too. Me too. You know, at the end, like, like they were hugging. Yes. I was like, oh. <sighs> Give us some happiness. I mean, the, but then someone saw them. Someone saw oh. them, and she runs in, and tells Felice. So we didn't see what else happened after that, but you can just imagine that Felice is probably thinking, she's going to confront her next episode. Like, what are you doing? She's going to be like, so listen, I've heard, you're back with the devil. You're back. Like it's almost like she's probably going to think like you made a mistake. Everybody was like upset and pissed off with you. You're slowly redeeming yourself. Mm. And now suddenly you're going back to, to August. Like, what, what is know. this all about? I don't know. I just want to be also like Felice, babe. Just let them be, please. Just let them be. Please. Let them be happy. For once. For one episode. Yeah, it's almost like now it's like... You either want to be friends with her or you don't. We should actually put a poll into the community tab and, and ask our you guys, do you want August and Sarah to come together and be happy? Or you don't want to come uh, for them to come back and be happy? My God, I just had this crazy thoughts. Go ahead. What if, like, obviously it's going to be the last episode, yes. the, the next one. What if... Actually, August and Simon do not have a happy ending. August and Simon? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Wilhelm and Simon do not have a happy do ending. Do not have a happy ending. Okay. But actually, August and Sarah have. At this point? We will find out next week. Could you imagine? <laughs> at this point, at this moment, it's looking more likely. Surprise, guys. Season 4 announced because we couldn't make up a happy ending. <laughs> Wow, um, it was a very good episode, actually. Very explosive. There were a lot of uncomfortable moments, but uh, deep down inside, we live for them. But, like, I just don't know how they're going to wrap it up in one episode now. Yeah, I know. It will feel very, very, like, chop, chop, chop. We'll hmm. see. We'll see. Well, a good one. Thank you so much for being here again. This was episode five. Dramatic, explosive. few tears. Yes. I cried. You cried. 
I'm sure yeah, you guys cried as well. At the end, there was cheering up. Yeah. And thanks again for being here. Please do subscribe if you have not already. And we'll see you for the next one next week.